We're not talking about light snowfall right now, though. We're talking about extreme weather. 2017, boy, oh boy, one for the books. From hurricanes to tornadoes to record-breaking rainfall in some parts, Greg Johnson's seen it all, and he runs right into the eye of the storm. He is the tornado hunter, after all. Tonight, he's speaking at an IMAX screening of the National Geographic movie Extreme Weather, sharing his experiences chasing storms in 2017. And he joins us now in our studio with more. Hello. Well, I'm really happy to be back. I thought you were, you know, I thought you were done with me now. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I, I thought I was on the, uh, I was thought I was on the naughty list or something. Not at all. No, <laughs> you're one of our best friends. It's just been a little while, and like, you know old, what? It's, like old friends, when we do get together again, it's like we were never apart, right? Well, and and you know, frankly, it wasn't a very active season in Saskatchewan, Here. so it wasn't there wasn't a whole lot. You sound disappointed. I am disappointed. <laughs> I mean, listen, who doesn't love? I mean. I mean, th- think about anybody who's grown up on the prairies, that prairie thunderstorm, right? That's part of your... That's true. That's part of your experience. It was the... Honestly, it was one of the things that when I moved out to the prairies 22 years ago, I never... I had never experienced a thunderstorm. Yeah. Truly, in yeah. my life. Yeah. Prior to that point. The and dog freaking out, running yeah. around, and I mean, the, barking. You're seeing it come from 200 kilometers away on the on the horizon. and Yeah. Dramatic skies. Everybody's excited about it. Yeah. That. So you went looking elsewhere for your fun mm-hmm. and adventure in weather. And what did you find? Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. Did you go right in? How? Where did you go? Uh, I mean, we were right down near Rockport, right, right where uh, Ground Zero, where the uh, Category 4 made landfall uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I had a few poopy pants moments. Yeah, tell me about a poopy pants moment. Well, what you know, was the, what was the biggest? Poopy this was pants my moment? first. This was my first hurricane, and and the reason for that is, and and uh, you know, we have really short memories, right? And and we haven't had a major hurricane make landfall in North America since Wilma in 2005, mm. and so there really haven't been a whole lot of opportunities to experience a hurricane. And this was a Category 4. Um, you know, we at one point we were uh, driving on a road. There's no power. And, uh, you know, the, the winds are very, very intense. And uh, Rocking the vehicle oh, around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And and to the point where we actually, right in the middle of the highway, stopped and turned the vehicle into the wind. Wow. Right. So instead of having a side wind. Yeah. When um, your trucks are rocking, that means something different yeah. when you're a t- <laughs> <laughs> but, but but then when then when uh you know tree branches start oh. flying, you know, at the the truck, it was, you know, we 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 made a decision that's to get when out of there. Sa- well, I was going to say that's when sane people turn around and leave. Well, so you and, did. And listen, fear is what keeps us alive. Mm. And and I mean that goes for everybody. I mean it's not uh, you know every everyone has this sort of natural fight or flight, and uh, in that situation, it's flight. Yeah. So what made you? You said you'd never experienced one before, and part of it is there hasn't been one. But what made you want to experience Harvey? Scale. So. D- Tornadoes are, are very small scale events. You know, they're very localized. Uh, you could have damage. We've seen pictures, right? One neighbor loses mm. their house, the next neighbor, fine. everything's fine. But hurricanes aren't like that. I mean, Rockport, where uh, Hurricane Harvey made landfall, uh, is over 300 miles from Houston. And Houston was the big story that came out of this with all the flooding, Galveston and Houston and, and that area. And, and I think that's the thing that struck me is that uh, there was so much disaster scene. There was so much, uh, I mean, the scale of the event was way yeah. bigger than any tornado or thunderstorm. Did you see or, some of the destruction then? We too, did. Right Actually, you know, that, be, that became the story that we told was the story of the, uh, to be honest, the, the story of the, the people who stayed, who could not afford to, literally could not afford to adhere to the mandated evacuation yeah. order. You know, I said to these two guys who were standing there, and I said, well, "Why didn't you guys leave?" The one guy, I'm not. This is true. He points at his uh, his bracelet on his ankle, and he goes, "Oh, monitoring, electronic he goes, monitoring." I'm not allowed to leave my home. Really, God, you think they'd make I an know, exception? I know, right? And that's what I said. And and, <laughs> and and his other buddy said, "Well, hey, we need we need to have a car and be able to afford gas to get out of here. Where am I going to yeah, go?" Yeah, yeah. So wow. you know, it, it, there's a lot of stories out there that you don't always hear. Yeah, and it, we're I, we were inundated this year with the, these disasters. We, we still are. The Puerto Rico thing's still happening. Mm-hmm. 
It's just too much. Terrible toll. Yeah. So what do you talk? Tell me a little bit about tonight. Are you mainly going to be talking about Harvey? What else are you talking about tonight? Harvey, tornadoes, um, you know, severe weather. We had some great, uh, <laughs> we have some great stories about some of our tour guests that, uh, you know, had some freak out moments while we uh, took them into the eye of the storm this year. Mm. And uh, I, uh, <laughs> I had a, I had a great chance to uh, meet a Canadian media legend. Uh, we did the the W five program. Ted Deller was there. No, Ted <laughs> Deller wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Okay. Oh, Kevin Newman. Uh, oh, Kev- Kevin, Kevin Newman from yeah, W five. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. Had a chance to meet meet him and. Uh, uh, you know, it was just uh, it was an interesting season, lots of fun stuff. But more importantly, is this movie? This is the last showing of this movie. Okay, so people should come and see it. Absolutely, and and National Geographic. You don't need to say much more than that. And uh, we're going to talk about climate change and uh, uh, how weather uh, plays a role in uh, how what we know and what we mm-hmm. learn about climate change. And uh, it's going to be a fun evening. Yeah. Well, nice to see you again. Yeah. Don't don't be a stranger. Yeah. Don't don't let's not make it another year <laughs> okay. before. All right. Deal. Okay. Greg Johnson, Tornado Hunter.